Working in the shadows of Mount Moiho is the Moiho Environment Group. At Waikawao Bay, they work to protect many of our endangered bird and plant species. These include the suite of wetland bird species such as fern birds, banded rail, bitterns, and the endangered Partiki New Zealand brown teal. These are maintained by volunteers and paid staff. At the foothills of the Coromandel Ranges is where Meg's main project of protection of Kiwi takes place. Thanks to the BNZ Save the Kiwi Trust, they can continue to protect an 8,000 hectare sanctuary. From small beginnings and fewer than 500 Kiwi, both a dock protection area to the north of 12,000 hectares and Meg's sanctuary area now support 1,500 to 2,000 birds. This has been achieved by an intensive trapping program to remove feral cats, stoats, weasels in the Kiwi Sanctuary and rats in the project area of the wetlands. Now in its seventh year of operation, a dedicated band of trappers maintain the trapping infrastructure 12 months of the year. Thanks to the support of the BNZ Save the Kiwi Trust, Meg is able to pay trappers maintain and improve tracks and upgrade traps on an annual basis. Woo! <laughs> That's a decent yeah, place, isn't, isn't it? it? Hi, my name's Wayne Todd and I'm a member of Moiha Environment Group and I live in the local area right here. Each year at about this time of the year, which is May, um, we start monitoring for the Kiwi and in the beginning the, the Kiwi numbers were very low. There were less than 500 birds over the entire northern peninsula of around about 20,000 hectares. There are two sanctuary areas that are being supported um, for protection of Kiwi and one is by Department of Conservation and one is by North Carolina Group. Both groups of people do monitoring for the Kiwi and as a result of that, we've gone from around about 500 birds to nearly 2,000, maybe 2,000 plus.